Hello, and um, today we're going to play Hide and Seek, a map uh, created by me, uh, for H1E and Gavin. Yeah, hello guys. So, it's been a little while since you've seen a video from us. Uh, apologies for that, we've all been kind of busy. Um, you're probably thinking, hold on, these guys are familiar, but who's this H1E guy? Um, do you want to say hello? Yeah, hello. Uh, I'm new in his team, and um, yeah. <laughs> His name's uh, this is Heiner. He's a friend of four. Um, you might have seen yeah. him on our new Minecraft, Minecraft uh, YouTube channel background. Yeah, um, to the left or something. I don't remember. Right. I don't yeah. remember. Oh, okay. So as you see, um, this is a mini map. Now I know you're thinking, hold on, the hide and seek mini map. Seriously, guys, this has already been done. Uh, well, no, actually, believe it or not, this map was actually being created by uh, Oliver here, way before it was even first public pu publicized on the uh, Minecraft forums. This is a non-modded version of uh, the hide and seek minigame. So we don't change into anvils, we don't change into any object. We're just literally trying to hide and seek. Yeah, in it's just hide and seek in Minecraft. Hide and seek 101. Yeah, it's just basic minus hide and seek. It's completely vanilla, no mods required. Just plop the map into your server or saves folder. Actually, that would suck if you plop it into your saves folder because you can't play it in single player. Um, but anyways, you just put it in your server and start playing. It's easy as that. Yeah, so, so right now, uh, we're gonna just uh, show off the spawn area and what I think is about here. So obviously you got the little display board behind four with uh, our names and our roles. So uh, obviously you got Oliver uh, here. He's the creator, builder, and the designer of this mini game slash map. Uh, four is the redstone builder. Uh, then me and H1E are the uh, builders. We helped with the building of most of these maps. Building and uh, testing. Yeah, building and testing. So I'm just going to start um, explaining the uh, the features of the lobby that's going to be where you spawn every time. Mm -hmm. So um, let's start with the most basic in the end of this hall. Um, here you can choose um, how long uh, you're going to be hiding and seeking for. So how long the seeker has to uh, get all the hiders. This um, is, well, the reason we have a customization for it is so for the bigger maps you need more time to find them. And also mm. there's, uh, you can customize how long um, the hiders have to hide bef uh, before the seeker can go out and seek them out. And that is from 1 to 5 minutes. And the map time ranges from 2 to 24 minutes. So Now, the reason we have all these map times, are, uh, you may think, why do we need so many? Uh, the actual time recommended is currently listed below the actual map names itself. So before you even start a map, you, you see the recommended time and the recommended amount of players per map. Yes. So but we haven't just given some random times. So when you're customizing the time, um, for this first episode, we're just going to play on the first map, which is the big tree. And if you look uh, below here, the recommended players are 2 to 6, we are 4 uh, currently, and uh, minutes are 3 to 6. So we're going to do um, f uh, 4 minutes for uh, this um, playthrough of the map. And for so the 4 minutes time, per game, basically. If you look to the right of the screen on the sidebar, you can see uh, the time is uh, the time the seeker has to hide, and hide time to hide is uh, the hiding time. So, currently one minute fits perfectly for the big tree. Um, this is spectating. When you've died during a round and the round is still going on, you can hit the spectate button to spectate the map and look over the round. Um, this button is for resetting. Um, this is if something goes wrong, you can hit this button. And uh, yeah. So, you can either make the game choose a random uh, seeker, or you can choose it manually with these buttons. Now, to choose which map you want to play, just simply press the button. So, obviously, you have the big tree, you have the haunted mansion. I don't know if this one is currently set up or not, but... No, it's not. Okay, it's not. This one is still going to be in process. This one is still to be built, the lost city of Minecraft. Here. So, as for said, we're going to play the big tree, which is the very first map we created. So, uh, do you want to select randomly, or do you want to start with no. one of us? Um, I'm, I'm going to start... I'm the seeker at random. I'm going to start being the seeker this time, so... Just uh, press okay. the button, and uh, yeah. 
So Even? Okay. don't okay. click the button yet. So um, I have uh, so I've been selected as a seeker, and uh, so if you look to the right, you can see the time to hide. Um, as 60 seconds currently. When they hit their button in their cage, they're going to be released into the playground and they're going to run, ar run around and hide. So I can't click this button to be, re to be released before the hiding timer has gone down. So I have to wait for them to hide. So you guys can start hiding. So they're okay. going to click the button over there. And then. Okay, so now we are actually out in the wilderness and we've basically got to try and survive. Now it's not unlimited amount of air that you have. It's actually a certain perimeter that you can hide in, but there are some neat little buildings, some certain cave systems and kind of things that you can hide in. So it is pretty pretty darn nifty. If you look to the right, you can see the timer ticking down and they currently have 30 seconds left to hide. So when the timer is approximately um, at one second, I'm going to be able to click this button and uh, seek them out. So there's 10 seconds left now, and uh, in, a th in a couple of seconds you're going to hear a piston noise, and I'm going to click this button. So, you hear it, and click the button, and I'm released. Um, released, I see. Behind there you get a message that you're going to look th on the board behind you. This button uh, will um, end the round, and, also and can also be used to reset it. So when I'm done uh, seeking out all the players, I'm going to click on that button. You can also wait for the timer to run out. If you look to the right, you can see the timer. And uh, yeah, that's how long I have to seek out the uh, hiders. So yeah. Just kind um, of right now we are, we are hiding at... Yeah. Random location. Ooh, random location, yes. I fell down. That's not good. Yeah, I hate that tree. <laughs> this is a big tree I'm currently climbing. Mm. You always fa fail uh, when you try to climb it when you're a seeker, yeah. because you, you, you because the time, the time, uh, eh, the time random part noises. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. I, yeah. Now, as I you can remember, see from the, from the actual amount of time, sorry, as you can see from the amount of time, it's not going down in uh, actual seconds because uh. This is all done using like command blocks and a uh, scoreboard system, so we're not going to get it to exact seconds, but it's the best you can probably get. Yeah, it's uh, basically a hopper clock. So it works. Oh, hey. found Heine. No! Yes, I got Heine. And, yeah. and, and now, when you're hiding, yeah. it's important to hold shift so the uh, seeker can see your uh, Yeah, that's really important to hold shift when you're hiding. So, uh, yeah. Either, if not, uh, people can see your nameplate from far away, and that's not good. So uh, now Heine will be sent back to the spawn, and he will click the spectate button to spectate the first map, which is the big tree. And uh, yeah, he's going to be flying around and looking over the whole thing. So I'm just currently going around and seeking out everyone. And uh, am I right in saying that if you, for example, you spot one of us while we're in the middle of hiding, are we okay? To, obviously, we're allowed to like run away, right? Oh no! Well, uh, if we're in the middle of hiding, you uh, see one of us. Are we able to just like run away and try to hide somewhere else before you catch us? Um, kind of, kind of not. It's uh, not as fun because normally in hide and seek, you're not uh, supposed to be able to do that. So, no. Okay. Okay, so I'm just running around, running around, trying to find Gavin now, which is the last one alive. Uh, and I think I'm gonna do it because there's like 19 seconds left. Around about five seconds, I might reveal myself just to give for a little bit of a chance. I might play chicken and just run around the map. Shit, I'm going to lose this one. Oh, I see him! I see him! Oh, scrap! I just okay. Looks like spots. I win. Okay, huh. so now uh, we're back to spawn. Um, there isn't a scoring system to see who scored, but it doesn't really matter when in this time type of minigame. So, yeah, someone else is going to be the hey. seeker this time, I guess. Okay, so I think all of us should go ahead this time to see the map. We're still gonna be the. Oh wait, wait! I'm just gonna check here. Okay, so six minutes, and uh, yeah, is Oliver a seeker? Yeah, yeah I'm going to see that. Okay, so this round you're gonna see me um, hiding and are we hiding? 
So when you're hiders, you just have to group up in this cage by hitting the button in the spawn. And uh, yeah, you hit this button, you get speed boost and invisibility and just run and hide. That's basically it. <laughs> so again, if you look no. to the right, you can see the hide time we have. And obviously, the smaller the map, the less hiding places, the bigger the map, the more hiding places. So, you know, try and think of some cool places. You know, you might find one that, that works for you, you might find one that doesn't work. It um, also depends on who's the seeker. Yeah. If they know I, I mean, about a certain is. place. I mean, you could get a seeker on here who, who already knows nearly all the places, so could do extremely well. Or you might have a seek on here who's never actually played the game and doesn't know anything about the maps. So yeah. So. Okay. Now I'm releasing. Um, I have to try to find you guys. Okay. No one is in the toilet. Obviously. That's but always the first place you look. Oh crap! Hello. Oh wow. my god. Wow. Well, it looks like it's time for Ford to start spectating. How, how appalling. So, uh, my uh, yeah. sword disappeared. I'm just gonna choose to wow. spectate uh, the big My sword disappeared. Wow. Um. How? <laughs> I don't know, it just suddenly disappeared. Yeah, that uh, might be a problem. If you want to game mode yourself and spawn another one in, just do that quickly. Okay, so this is uh, where you use the reset button. Or do that. Um, it, That's actually never happened before. And, oh wow, Oliver uh, it, 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 ha it happened one time earlier. Oliver, you had your sword. No, uh, that was uh, I got, I, um, I got that when I was in a creative, and, oh. and then okay. we Wow. Okay, and then uh, let's restart that. Then uh, Oliver, back to your seeker, and for myself and Heiner, back to the Oh wait, so I'm just gonna uh, choose six minutes on the clock. Okay. Okay, so that round was kind of fail. So that just goes to show that it will sometimes have a, have a bit of a mishap, but then yeah. again, this is all pure vanilla, so you have to expect that. Yeah, and if you and um, if you have any ideas uh, what we can do, just tell us. Yes. Because we are going to update it a lot, I think. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna f build more on haunted, the haunted mansion. Um, we have still have the lost city of Minecraft. Yeah. Right now, the Lost City of Minecraft hasn't been started to uh, be built. That is a map that I kind of suggested yesterday. Yeah. Um, the current date is uh, Wednesday, 17th of July, 2013. So, uh, you know, when this video goes up, it will most likely be Sunday. So, you know, we're open for, su for suggestions. Any ideas you want to be in the Lost City of Minecraft, you feel free to suggest and we'll see if it works, see how it fits. Yeah, so um, Oliver has been released now. And, uh, yeah. It's not the 17th, it's the 18th. That's because he's not... Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, time of course. Zones. It's uh, yeah, currently half past midnight. In Norway, yeah. but here in the UK it's Wednesday the 17th still. Yeah. So... So, <laughs> so depending on your time zone, the video could be up, you know, earlier than it is for uh, myself. Because, obviously, you're in... If you're in Norway, the video will, will be up about an hour before I realize. Uh, yeah. Well, an hour before I say it is going to be up. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, this is. We can talk about uh, the roles of uh, Heine and Oliver. Um, so, basically, um, Heine is, has gotten uh, the role of answering your comments on our videos, and I just. Hey. Wow. And Would you like me to explain, since I, I was the one who kind of thought of the whole idea? It, I don't really mind, it's up to you. Yeah, you can just tell. Okay, well, basically, because of the fact that we've started to get, like, a, I would say a larger amount, but because we've got a bit bigger on YouTube now, like 78, 79 subscribers, and around 15,000 video views, I thought it would be a decent idea to start having specific roles in the team. So, obviously, myself being person in charge of Team Goth Helpiers and for being second in charge, dealing with uploads, dealing with the editing and that rendering and stuff of the videos. Um, obviously you already know Peter is our art and graphics designer from the old channel and if you didn't uh, watch the old channel then you know he does that from most of our skins. So you know 
when it comes to comments, Fours is normally busy uploading, and I'm either busy in real life or just don't have time to reply. And because Oliver and Heiner don't really have to do anything uh, massive for the team, like recording and stuff, I thought it would be easier on myself and Four if Oliver and Heiner did the uh, comment reply. So any questions you guys ask will most likely be answered by uh, those two guys. Um, you'll know who's, answer, yep. who's answering your questions because they will hopefully sign it with uh, their name. Yeah, again, I shall so. try to remember to sign. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just know that someone is in the tree. I can actually see Heiner. Oh, I can, see, so, I can, yeah. see, I can see you, uh, Gavin. I can see you. I think that's me. Uh, I know it's you. I'm... I just know it. I can wow. see. No, shit. So yeah, feel free to actually rate the uh, map uh, in the comments as well. What you think of it, and um, well, um, where well, the map? <laughs> I don't know if we're going to release the map to the public before this video goes up. Uh, but yeah, I can currently see Aina <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Gavin uh, hiding. <laughs> well, Oliver, you did a crap job, mate. You you came, you came up there not realizing there's a oh, little. Oh, I know where you are. Oh, I know where you are now. Well, I there's just, just over name. a minute left, so I'm just gonna sprint around and try to escape you. Wow. <laughs> I mean, That's you found me, me, so technically I've, I've been found. All you have to do now is try and kill me. Yeah, so it's currently that. been about... Um... But Oliver has a speed boost. Wait, what can, I, what can I kill you? Are you in... I hit you there. Are you in game mode? Yeah. Lag, maybe. I'm not in game mode, no. I'm hitting you, so I'm serious. There. Yeah, you're done. Okay. So, um, oh, he has... Oh, Heine is still up there somewhere. He has just under yeah. a minute now to uh, find Heine. And, I know where yeah. he is. So, uh... Think... No, he's still up there. Well, we're going... We have gone just over yeah. uh, 18 minutes on this video now, so... Okay, well, I think this is doing pretty well, actually. Um, I'm actually... I actually kind of enjoy this. Uh... When I when yeah, Oliver, it's a pretty Paul and Heino, yeah, when these guys were first explaining all this to me, I, was, I didn't think I was going to enjoy it because it's non-modded, it's just pure vanilla Minecraft. But after oh, actually uh, playing it, I realised how good it is. Shit. Oh, oh unlucky. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so now Heine is going to be the seeker, right? Or Gavin? Okay. Uh, it's gonna be Gavin. Heine's gonna be the seeker, or shall I? Gavin. Gavin. Uh, it doesn't matter for me. Okay. Uh, well, there's yeah, only two I'm left to me, so I'm, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna. Be the okay. So let's... Yeah, I'm in the hiding cage. Okay. Um, uh, let's go to hiders. Is it me? That's... No, uh, oh. Gavin. Let's go to hiders. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Is everyone so I don't know if you... in place? Yeah, I don't know if you read it on full screen when he was in the hider... Uh, sorry, in the seeker section, but it does say you have been selected as the seeker. Press the button when it, when the time to hide time has run out. You will see the rep your weapon, which obviously is the diamond sword. And then obviously you'll be teleported to the map and have to kill the hiders. Have fun. So, hopefully you guys are picking some good hiding, hiding spots. Hopefully none of you are going for the the, uh, the easy ones. Uh, you know, plans yeah, I are... always try to be like creative with my hiding spots. Not. Um, okay. Oh, GTFO, GTFO. This is. I was. Shh. Hey guys, you got ten seconds Shh. until the beast is released. Shh. You don't know anything. Shh. 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 It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. Wow. Oh. Ready or not, here I come. Okay, so um, as I was saying before, f uh, I don't know if this map is going to be uh, going up on the forums before the video is going up, but uh, either way, we're um, still uh, we're still working on it, so uh, it's not it's not going to be coming out uh, before the Lost City of Minecraft year map is mm. finished, but uh, yeah. One thing that um, I don't know if, if it was seen in the the, uh, the video where well not the video but the part of the video where four was the seeker uh, you actually have unlimited health and uh, a unlimited speed boost I think that's actually a pretty cool a pretty cool thing because that way you know it doesn't matter if you're the seeker and no, no matter how high you fall from you're always going to be able yeah, to just continue you can to just speed. you don't need to be yeah like. You can just run around, around, around with the, just run around and kill the seekers without no worries. Without kill the seekers. 
Hiders. Green kill the hiders. Uh, hiders. Um, and uh, you actually, uh, you don't have to worry about uh, the hiders being able to run away because you always uh, have the chance to catch up on them because you have the speed boost and they don't. Now, I kind of know where some of you are because, well, I don't actually know where you are, but one thing that is a good idea is if you have to open, if you have to open doors, it's a good idea to close them behind you. Otherwise, it's kind of yeah, obvious because... that someone's been in there. So, I'm actually doing kind of bad. Like, I'm actually the worst so far. No one's <laughs> been killed yet. And you got uh, just about 210 seconds. Uh huh. Wow, I'm actually doing quite uh -huh. crappy at this. <laughs> Oliver, no. Oh. Well. Uh, oh my god. If you guys are all like just hiding together, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> No, no one is hiding. Like, I'll probably no just one. find the three of you just hidden in a corner or something. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, what's this? Oh, think? it just goes nowhere. Okay. Uh, knowing you guys, you're all probably stuck in this tree, maybe. Or I'm just a complete noob but hide and seek. Hello, f oh wow, I can see four, but I can't get to him because the stupid trap door won't close. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap, well, I'm getting stuck in the, in the trap door. How gay is this? <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, no, shit. Oh, I fall. I'm always the uh, first Flo to die. Flo, you because... didn't want to have a trap door there. It saved you for some seconds. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. Because well, there are like two minutes left. I could actually see where Heine and Oliver b were uh, hiding because the map hasn't, hadn't load, l loaded up yet. So I know where they're no. hiding. No, you don't. That's the only thing that's good about lag. <laughs> when you're playing hide and seek, you can. Yeah. Cheat, One thing basically. we didn't actually mention is we recommend having no mods installed, other than like probably Optifine if you really need it, because like having certain mods installed may kind of ruin the whole point of the game, mm. especially if it, if, you, if it's going to be something like X-ray mod, because that's just going to make it really. Yeah, yeah, that's no just point gonna point. ruin the gameplay. Yeah. And if you use this X-ray, you're a freaking cheater. Yeah. Exactly. Have any of you guys moved? Only use that on Have any of you guys moved from your current hiding, hiding place? No, we are still on the same hiding. <laughs> like, knowing me, I probably already walked past you guys. I was just being a noob. 40 seconds. Well, I think I'm just being a noob, but I've probably already walked by you a couple of times. Have you guys seen me walk by Kinda. you? Kinda. Kinda. Well, no, this isn't a big map, so you can we can see your nameplate. The whole time, yeah. Yeah, basically, nearly the whole time. Wow, how about... Come on, guys, give me a chance. Come out for the last couple of seconds, surely. Hello. Hello, Fräulein. Oh, wow, you guys are having a giraffe. Wow. Wow. Okay, so, um... Wow. That's the end of this video. Uh, I'm going to do it with uh, Heine, because Heine hasn't done it yet. Yeah, yes, he did it in the start. No, I did no. it in the start. No. no. It was for was it? Heine, uh, sorry, it was for Oliver and me. It was Heine now. Was it? Okay. Yes, it's me now. Okay, yeah. so I guess so... this is going to be a half hour video. Okay. Uh, yeah, and you have to click on hiders. Oh, okay, you're yeah. hiding. Okay, click yeah. uh, Oliver. Start the round. And we need to run and hide, everybody. Wait. Okay, so let's hide. It sucks to be in this claustrophobic room. It's even more claustrophobic in the uh, in the uh, hiders. Yeah, at least here you get some privacy and some <laughs> personal space. Okay, so. Okay. Um, 20 seconds left on the hiding. Uh, one thing that I pr didn't mention is uh, my current Minecraft skin may be different in the uh, next episode of this, because um, my Minecraft skin is based on my uh, in real life look. So in real, in real life I've had my hair cut since, since my skin was made, so it's probably going to get changed around a little bit. But anyway, the game's now started and there's about... Six minutes, I think, depending on what force I did to. Yeah, I think, actually, no, this time I think it's four minutes. I'm not sure. Okay, so about four minutes in.
Yeah. Quite cool. Well, right? This is the awkward well, moment. I have, I have to get a cup of uh, tea off the fire. Well, not coffee, sorry, it's actually hot chocolate. And I'm left, well, I'm right handed. I'm using my right hand to hold the uh, shift key. Well. So. Wow, that's like. That's like a really, a really awkward silence in a uh, YouTube video. How? Yeah. How, hey, how fitting. It's four people in it. How exciting. Um, I don't think I mentioned this at the start, but um, you guys may have noticed on a uh, YouTube background picture uh, that it has obviously the picture of us uh, plus uh, Peter, and as well as that, mm. it has the Smosh Games Alliance logo. You're probably wondering why or why we if we put it there just for the lols or if we just fancy it. Um, Ford, do you want to explain why, why we put it there, since it was mainly you who kind of got, got us into this position? Well, um, kind of, I'm kind of sub subscribed to Smosh Games, so when I saw they were doing the Smosh Games Alliance thing, so you can technically be partnered with their network and uh, different stuff, um, well, so I decided to join it, but uh, it's taken a long time and we haven't, uh, I think, uh, we haven't checked in the last couple of weeks, but... Uh, it takes a lot. It took a long time to get the reply from them, so we're still in the um, re registration process. But uh, it will be done soon, and then we will start being partnered with Smosh Games Alliance. So yeah. I mean, obviously, I mean, obviously, being um, the, the amount of time it's taken, we we would have hoped. Uh, oh, Shit. Oh, You're wow. dead. Was killed again for us. We, we obviously would have hoped that we could have had it done by now, but you know we have. To, Obviously, you have to understand that they're probably really busy. I mean, just think about it. If they partner a lot of people, you have to think about the amount of emails they must have to go through every day. Yeah, there's a lot so, of shit to rest they have to do. Yeah. And they also I mean, make already, videos. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've waited about, I think it's a month now. But in all fairness, people are always complaining, oh, well, there's no Shadow of Isabel. Guess what? Sometimes we have to wait for like five months. I think the last Shadow of Isabel episode was about six months ago, and they're not planning another one until like next month. Because they do it based on the quality of the content, not based on, oh, yeah, let's just upload it for the sake of things, you know? Mm. People, just, All people seem to care about is having it done. Whereas we're not they, really... they just want to see oh. the episode, and um, they don't care about uh, the guys well, who are actually making like, the video. I know, not to be, not to sound bad, but you kind of failed. You only got one kill. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, uh, so... Uh, of yeah. course, that's four. I know, I was in the tree. And yeah, I was just on the wall. And, and I started going down, climbing down in the... In yeah. So um, now, yeah. it's the final, it's the uh, end of the episode. Before Bye. we go, do you want to show off the uh, Haunted hey. Mansion? Like, just have a look at it and show it off? Well, or I guess we can uh, spectate it. Like a sneak peek. Um, so... So this is just a sneak peek of how it goes. Oh, I almost forget. So... Oh, uh, yeah. the giant uh, school... Why am I... Well, Game mode. Uh, for you come to the actual front of it so you can actually uh, see the these skull. Are you? I don't really see. You. Oh, it's because I'm invisible. Uh, in, 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 okay. Uh, I just need to wait. To oh yeah. Drink, drink some milk or something. Yeah, drink drink milk quickly. I drank milk. Uh, okay, so this is the haunted mansion. I'm not gonna go inside because that will kind of spoil it. But uh, yeah, this will probably be in the next episode of hide and seek. So this is the second map, and uh, yeah, it's a haunted mansion. It's a pretty, it's a pretty big, so bigger size map. As you can see, the size of the map this time is uh, bores it off with the uh, never brick and the iron bar fences. Um, so it, the whole point of this map, you can hide either inside the mansion or outside the mansion. Currently, we've not given access to the roof because we don't really, we don't know if we want anything to be placed on the roof yet. If we want any reason to be there. Um, the school on top of the roof, because it's like a haunted mansion, I thought it would suit the theme. But, uh, for if you want to fly around the mansion, like, not, not on yeah, the inside, and, just fly around and it's, it. I have... And it's really, it's really, really many uh, hiding spots in here. Yes. And it's a cellar here also, so I recommend it play, uh, if you play in a lot, in a big group, play this map. Now, if there's any glitch, if you if you guys actually play this when it comes to us uploading it and find any glitches, for example, any ways to get out of the map boundaries, any ways to uh yeah. And by the way, I found one oh. way now. Yeah. Oh, you have? 
Yep. Okay, let's let's uh, talk about that when we're done recording. Uh, so, shit. if you find yeah. any uh, ways to get inside the map in the uh, uh, when you're playing this, when it comes out, please um, notify us so we can fix it. Yeah. Because mm. you know we don't really mind if there are bugs and stuff on here, as long as we're uh, as long as we're kept informed of them. Because some of the bugs we might actually find to be kind of make make the game more fun. Some of them we might find hinder the whole point of the game, in which case we'll want to get them changed as soon as possible, really. So, yeah. And any time we do bug fixes, we will update the download link and, you know, put put in brackets, update fix, uh, then the exact date. So you know, you guys know if it's updated fresh or not. Yep. Yeah. But I think that's the end of the video. Do you guys have anything to say? Bye. Well, Obviously, bye. bye. <laughs> anything, and you want to say for before we end? Not really. Okay, well, I just want to say, uh, welcome, Heino, really, to, to Team Kickcraft LPS. It's now official. Yay! Yay. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second, uh, here's a cake for you. Yay. Okay, <laughs> okay so, um, oh. bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.